what's up guys back again with another video so I'm going to show you how to use arrays in JavaScript and how to manipulate them in certain ways so let's get right into it so to make an array um, just put uh, brackets I believe they're called and then uh, you can have a collection of data inside of them so uh, you could do like numbers and set you're supposed to sep separate them by comma so go ahead and do that so just put some numbers in there And uh, I made it kind of messy because I didn't space it out, but you shouldn't actually space them out. Just all you got to do is separate them by commas. Okay. And so uh, I forgot to give it a name, of course. So um, first array equals that. So there's our array. But we can also use other um, types of data. So we can do string array. You know, you could always name it whatever you want, but I'm just showing you. And then, uh, uh, hi, hello. And the, remember, the last one does not need a comma. Okay. So we could also just mix it up if we want to. I mean, you could you could put a space if you really want to, but yeah, just whatever. So yeah, just whatever you want here. Uh, oh. Just literally whatever you want to put. You could also have um, booleans. You could also have null. You know, undefined any of the data types. And so yeah, so. Let's say you, oh, well, first of all, let's print these out to see what they look like. Let's do the mixed array and print that one out. And there it is. So here's our array in the console. And then we can look at each one. Also, whenever you're working with arrays in JavaScript, it starts at zero, not one. It's called a zero based programming language. So zero, one, two, three, four, five for each thing. Zero, one, two, zero, one, two, three. So that's why down here it also says zero for five, five, five. So. But if you're counting it, of course, it'll come out as one, two, three, four, five, six. So let me show you what I mean by counting. So let so to count something, you would do um, the array name dot length, and that's how you count something. And it's a property, so you don't need the method parentheses there. So if we print that out now, we should get seven because there's seven things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, so, I mean, we could also check to see if it even is an array. So temp equals string array dot is array. Oh wait, oops, that's not it put array a dot is array and then inside here you put the array string array sorry for that mistake but yeah Ar array is like the class name or whatever and this is the function of the class and then in here is the data that you're going to insert inside of it so in here you can put any of your arrays that you can make so if we want to print out a certain value from one of these arrays you could do oops the array name and then brackets and then one at the index of it so zero one two you know like that so if we want to target uh, this one zero one two so we put two in here and so it's printing out here so 56 zero one two this one not this one they're both 56 I gotta just change this so now we see that it's that so yeah so um if we want to put something inside of the array, like manually, we could do, uh, we could like target the array itself. Um, so remember constant arrays can be manipulated. It's not like a variable. So we could say first array and then put the index of what we want to change or add. And uh, let's say one equals 100 
No, 1,000. We'll do 1,000. And then we'll print out first array. So now 1,000 is here. Oh, I made a mistake, actually. It's not inserting it. It's actually just replacing the one that you currently have. So if we target the first um, the one index, it'll replace it with the thing you're putting in there. Excuse me. That makes sense because you're setting it equal to. So don't forget that like I did. So yeah. So um, we could also find the values manually. So temp equals first array dot index of. And then we could say one again. And then we should get a thousand. Oh, let's print this out. We get negative one, which is weird. Um, oh, I did it reversed. Um, so you put in the value and then it returns the index. So you get one. So it could be five, two, five up here and it will tell you wh where that is, which is pretty cool. So for example, let's try like using this for something. So we could do like that and then we could say first array dot and then inside here put temp. So that's an example of some way you could use it, you know? So if we cut this and put it in here, it should print out the correct thingy. So five two five. Just a little example there. And uh, yeah, so if you want to add on to an array manually, we could do um, first, let's put this back in here. First array. Okay, so if we want to add something onto the array manually, we could do push. And then inside of push, we put what we want to add. So we could say, hey. I'm not very creative, so I just say the same stuff over and over. <laughs> um, so hey, it's added onto the first array here. So pretty cool. I keep saying that. Um, so if we want to add something to the beginning of it, we could say unshift. So now that's the beginning. And if you want to take something off, the, the ending of it, the ending of a, uh, if you want to take five, five off, we could do pop. And now the five, five is not on there. But if we want to take off the first one, we could do shift instead of unshift to shift, you know? So yeah. And then we could splice numbers again. Like we can remove a certain index. So let's say from one, two, three, so zero, one, two, three. So one, we'll remove one, two, three. So yeah, let's do that. So splice one, two, three. And then 77 through 25 should be, there it is. So these three are gone because it's one, two, three. So anything between that will be obliterated. And uh, yeah, also we can reverse so first array dot reverse and that will reverse it of course let's remove that so now everything's backwards so 42 and 42 is at the end now and uh yeah so if we want to concatenate um arrays in javascript we could easily just do concat and then have let's add on our mixed array to it and there we go. Okay, and so let's do temp equals that. And then we'll display temp in here. And then they'll be combined now. So we get a total of 13 now and all these values. So this plus this. Simple array addition. So yeah, that's it for this tutorial. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Um, leave a like if you liked it. Leave a comment if you need help. And I'll see you next time. Peace. Peace.